Hi, welcome to this video on how to tell if energy medicine is helping your cancer. This is a no frou frou way of uh, just observing if it's working or not. I'm going to be describing, oh, my name is Suzanne Clegg. I'm an uh, energy medicine practitioner. I'm also an acupuncturist, um, a medical intuitive, a sound healer, lots of other things. And um, I, a lot of people come to me for cancer. I was trained how to work with cancer by William Bankston, who's done tons of research with animals on, on the subject. And um, I sort of know the lay of the land. So I want to show you, I want to just share a, a few of the things I, I know. Um, part of what I'm going to say is in my book, There is Another Way, Energy Medicine for Pets with Cancer. And if you could tell it's working and worth doing for a pet, you can, it's the similar with a, with a person. Um, not the same, but very similar. And so I'm going to be talking about four things, the physical, the life force, the emotional, and the spiritual ways to observe if you're actually getting better or not. So on the physical level, uh, uh, the tumor cools down. You get a, a treatment and the tumor is like hot, blasting hot, and it cools down. And sometimes you even feel a cool breeze uh, under your hand when it's all nice and cool. That's a very good sign that the treatment's working. The next is scans and blood tests by your doctor or your vet. And these, of course, are, are helpful. Another is, with, um, is a fever. Uh, fevers happen in nat when, natural, when tumors are healing naturally. They don't happen so much with chemo and radiation because the chemo and radiation sort of are like a fever. They, they burn it out. Um, so if you get a fever, uh, let's celebrate. Um, Another thing is the tumor shrinks. That's an obvious sign that the, that the cancer is getting better. Tumors usually don't shrink if, they, um, if, if something doesn't happen to make that. Anyway, that's a good sign. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, tumors getting larger, if you're naturally uh, working with your cancer, that can be a good sign too, um, but only if they're also getting softer. Larger and harder is not a good sign, but larger and softer may be a good sign. It's, uh, you know, certainly um, that's what you look at, look for. Now the next, um, the ne that was the, that's some physical tips. The next is the life force. Now this life force is your sense of vitality. It's well the difference between like a plant and a rock. The plant is growing and 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 that and um, alive. Um, and we have these these plant-like forces in us, like we're alive. And if we are withering. If it just feels like this fundamental life force in us is withering, that's not a good sign. And if we seem to be growing like a, a, a grass in the springtime in terms of, of our energy, then uh, that's a very good sign. The next part of this uh, life force level is your body rhythms. Uh, the rhythmical flow of life is part of what brings us our vitality and our health. So uh, you might have this big honking tumor. But if your sleep is improving, if your digestion is improving, if um, your moods are improving, if just your body's working better and you feel like doing stuff because you can and it's more comfortable, that's a very good sign too. Uh, and then this next one is sort of funny, but it's actually a really good sign, is your hair looks better. You, you have good hair days. And this works for animals as well as people. And we all know those days when, when our hair when just, it just seems to look good, and uh, that's a good sign. Um, now, and there's a lot more of life, for, life force things to look at. As an acupuncturist, I look at the tongue and the pulse, and I, you know, there's a lot more detail. But these are just some some highlights. All right, the next level I like to observe in the healing process is the emotional level. And you might think that if you're healing, you feel good, and if you're not healing, you feel bad. But it's a little more complicated than that. Um, emotions do certainly indicate things. But what I notice is when I'm treating people, uh, these peace packages come into the room. I, it's like this presence of peace that fills up the room. And, and both me and my clients just sort of feel peaceful. And it's, it's palpable. It's strong. And that's a very good sign. Um, the other is that if there is an emotional response to the treatment, uh, some tumors, not all tumors, but some tumors have uh, emotional roots to them. And when they heal, it's almost like a little, you get a little whiff of what was stored in there and, and you, you, you feel that. So that might be anger and sadness and fear. It might be all sorts of things. 
um, that a treatment that's just completely flat emotionally is usually not as juicy and robustly healing as one that that has a little um, has a little emotional uh, movement going on. All right, now let's go to the spiritual. Uh, now um, the spiritual is beyond beyond feelings, beyond what you're imagining. So it's sort of it's beyond. Um, it's where you observe your own process and then beyond even the observer where you're unconscious. And what it feels like when you're healing spiritually is really like nothing. And nothing, not like nothing, but like with a capital N, nothing. And you sort of just feel like yourself. You would think that if you were healing, you would just be ecstatic. And that happens when you get a clean PET scan or the tumor drops off or things like that. But usually just like after a treatment, you just feel sort of normal and it's like comfortable to be in your skin and that feels good. And you just feel more like yourself. And then the other spiritual thing is that there's light shining out of your eyes. You look in the mirror or people look at you and it's like you are there. The, the spirit that's animating your, your flesh is present. And that's a very good sign that you're getting better. So that's it. That's the that's some of my tips for how to tell if you're t if you're making good progress. Um, I like to just observe, and um, and uh, hopefully this helps you. I I really encourage you to use energy medicine if you have cancer. It can be very 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 helpful, and um, good luck. <laughs>